Okay, so we just happened to go out fishing and for salmon and we got fortunate in that we got the trifecta. We got a coho salmon, a king salmon, and a pink salmon out here off the Washington coast in the Puget Sound. And so we thought that we'd just review for those of you to be able to identify the difference between a coho salmon, a king salmon, and a pink salmon. Because sometimes it's hard to tell the difference, especially out when they're in the salt. So here, at, on the top, we have the coho salmon. And this one is probably going to be the most confused with the one on the bottom, which is a pink salmon. But probably the biggest difference, you can tell right away that you have something more valuable than the lowly pink salmon, <laughs> is that the adipose fin is cut off. That means that this fish is of hatchery origin. The one in the middle, as you can see, is a king salmon. Much bigger than the other two. If you catch a fish this big, almost 100% it's going to be a king salmon. Coho rarely get this big. Pinks never get this big. I think the state record for pink salmon here in Washington is something like 10 or 11 pounds. So, another way to tell the difference because oftentimes you might catch a wild coho salmon or silver salmon that has an adipose fin like this pink salmon does right here. So how to tell the difference between these two fish? Well, if you just look at the scales, that's typically what I'll look at. Can you see how the scales here are really organized and they're a little bit bigger than these tiny little pink scales on here? And the lateral line is more defined here on a silver salmon than it is on a pink salmon. Another way to tell the difference is you look at the tail. Can you see this tail here and how there's this iridescent silver in it? That's a way to definitely tell that you have a silver salmon. Here is the pink tail right here and there's no iridescent silver in the tail. We cut the tail off here to be able to show you the two side by side. Can you see the iridescent here in the tail? Whereas you don't have that in the pink tail. The pink tail has a bunch of big spots on it, if you can see that with the camera angle. You don't have those spots in a silver tail. See those spots? Are they hard to see? Maybe you could see them better there. Okay. So you can look at the tail. Another thing is you can look at the mouth. So if you come around to this side, they say that silvers have white mouths and white gums. So you open it up and yeah, a little bit white on the roof of the mouth. Definitely white up here. We cut off the head of the pink and we'll show them side by side on the lower gums. A little bit harder to tell, but you can see how it's a little bit darker here on the pink than it is on this silver salmon. Roof of the mouth, ah, uh, they're both about white. It's hard to tell there. If you get a king and you're trying to tell the difference between a king and a silver, and you open the mouth, can you see how its gums here next to its teeth are all black? See that right there? Yeah, all black in here. Whereas this silver salmon, once again, see how it's a little bit lighter, whiter gums? That's going to be a silver. Another way to tell a king here in the middle, besides its size, because sometimes you might catch a smaller one, you might catch a wild one that you have to release that has a fin on it. For me, you just look at the king. Here's the king tail. The king tail is a little bit similar to a pink tail. See the spots in here? And the pink has spots also in its tail. Pretty similar. The king also has some iridescent here in the tail, whereas the silver, remember, doesn't have those spots, but has the iridescent, even more so, I would say. The king, how are you going to tell the difference between a king and a pink? Well, probably the biggest difference, because their mouths are similar, tails are similar, is the scales. 
Can you see the size difference between the scales on a king versus a pink? Both of them are going to have spots along the back, but the pink is easily distinguishable because it has such tiny, tiny little scales on it versus the king scales, which are quite a bit bigger. Alrighty, so that pretty much sums it up. The difference between a coho, a king, and a pink. It's pretty rare that you'll catch all three in one day. We felt like we were real fortunate to do so. Hope that helps.